The National Trust is a huge landowner, responsible for 650,000 acres of land across the UK. Using insight gained from this unique position, its latest report highlights the importance of water and tries to address its management in a more holistic way. We own entire catchments, we own a lot of upland uh, landscapes where water is critically important for nature conservation, um, but also those landscapes deliver water through catchments to um, properties downstream. And we've got an amazing statistic which shows that 43% of England and Wales drains to the boundary of a National Trust property. So we have a huge interest in what happens upstream of our properties in terms of water, but also we have real responsibility as a land responsible landowner for what happens to the water that leaves our properties going downstream. In recent years, climate change has increased the frequency of weather extremes like flash flooding and drought. These have captured people's attention and highlighted the need for urgent action. Well, our action plan is really very simple. First of all, it's about joining up. And there are lots of policies about water from lots of different institutions, government, uh, government departments, government agencies, water companies, um, a huge number. And we really want to have a single message, which is look after water get the quantity right, get the quality right, and then everyone will benefit. And then the action plan really flows from that. It's about working in partnership with organisations on the ground to get sustainable systems, particularly for land management. And then it's about, at the other end, you know, the public and, and, and people who are at the sharp end, understanding water better, thinking about what we can all do in our lives to look after water better, and particularly by using less water, which ultimately we're going to have to do. National Trust land and properties are greatly influenced by extreme events and water management. In many of its estates, it has developed sustainable management schemes that have benefited the land and its recreational facilities, while also protecting water resources. With so many properties, there are lots of examples of success. One of the most exciting is Upper Wharfdale, where we own nine farms, and we have a huge problem in Upper Wharfdale traditionally of flash flooding. So we've been working with the farmers who are our tenants, but also the Environment Agency and the University of Durham to put in place systems which will help minimise that risk. So, for example, we've been blocking up land drains that have caused the water to run off much too quickly. We've been planting new areas of woodland. We've been trying to realign the river so it flows more slowly and therefore holds water. We've been trying to encourage flooding of the upper wharf so that the water doesn't rush downstream into the cities of, of Yorkshire as it did so disastrously last year. So it's really about sensible practices to manage and contain water and to ensure it's delivered in the right quantity and quality to where people need it. Preserving water and adapting buildings and land against drought and floods is crucial in a changing climate to preserve this vital resource for the future.